What's up guys, I'm Shay. Today, we'll be checking out a video called 10 Shocking Facts About Coca-Cola. I used to work for Coca-Cola a few years ago and that didn't end very well. I worked for them for like nearly two years. So me watching this is kind of like me just taking the piss out of them really. I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want. I'm not salty about it, but in saying that, they can go fuck themselves. Let's check it out. Top 10 Shocking Facts About Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Pornography. In 1995, Coca-Cola released a new poster campaign costing $200,000 which was used to promote the slick reintroduction of their original glass bottle design. They named mm. this campaign Feel the Curves. The designer of the <laughs> ad was tasked with targeting young Coke drinkers who weren't familiar with the iconic bottle shape. And he did this using pornography in the form of a woman giving oral sex. What Unfortunately, the, fuck? the ad wasn't as subliminal as he'd initially hoped, and it had to be recalled straight after being spotted on a Coca-Cola truck. Needless to say, the designer was quickly fired. Shit. No. Didn't know that. A can of Coke should make you vomit. A 330 milliliter can contains so much sugar that it should make yeah. you vomit after the first 10 minutes of consumption. Yeah, it's fucked However, up. the phosphoric acid stops that from happening by reducing the sugary flavor. I'll stop drinking after Coke as soon as I stop working for that fucking company. It mirrors the same effects as taking heroin by releasing dopamine to stimulate the pleasure sensors in the brain. After an hour, your body crashes and you become drowsy and irritable. It also causes you to urinate the water content from the can, which takes with it valuable nutrients that could have been used elsewhere in the body. Yeah, don't drink hey, fizzy, Jay. I don't drink this shit. I don't drink any fizzy day, drinks. Coca-Cola contained an estimated Soda 9 milligrams of cocaine out there. in each glass. It was removed in 1903 and replaced the next year using spent leaves, which are the remains of the cocaine extraction process and still leave slight traces of cocaine. That's pretty a fucked up. secret recipe also revealed that a small amount of alcohol was present in the drink. Coca-Cola has now been though. clean for a number of years and are the only company legally able to import the coca leaves into the US. Their process is heavily monitored by the government to ensure that they don't spike our drinks again in the future. Seven. Martin Luther King Jr. tried to boycott Coca-Cola. In Martin Luther King what? Jr.'s iconic speech, I've been to the mountaintop, delivered the day before his assassination, he announced a boycott against Coca-Cola. King said during his speech, we are asking you tonight to go out and tell your neighbors not to buy Coca-Cola in Memphis. At the time of King's speech, white workers in Coca-Cola factories were earning more than their black counterparts. This True. wasn't fully resolved until 2000, when the company paid out $192.5 million to Fuck. minority employees following a class action racial discrimination suit. Six, Coca-Cola pesticide. In 2003, a health scare over pesticides caused legislators in India to call for a ban on Coca-Cola and Pepsi. The drink was said to up to 40 times the amount of pesticide permitted under EU regulations, although Coca-Cola denied this. It was later proven they fucking that there deny were high pesticides in Coca-Cola products manufactured in India, but this was due to the local water rather than Coca-Cola themselves. Subsequently, some Indian farmers were reported to be using Coca-Cola and Pepsi themselves as a cheaper alternative to pesticides. Conventional pesticides cost them 70 rupees an acre, whereas a Coca-Cola mix cost them 55 to 60 rupees. That's what they're Five, Dasani tap water. In 2004, Coca-Cola released a new brand of pure bottled water <laughs> called Dasani to the UK, which was said to have a highly sophisticated purification process. Oh, fuck off. This turned out to be reverse osmosis, an extremely common process used in most domestic water purification units. As if it wasn't bad enough to mark up tap water up to one and a half dollars per half litre, it was also revealed that the water contained 10 micrograms per litre of the carcinogenic chemical bromate. You bastards. Coca-Cola voluntarily withdrew the Dasani product soon after, saying they wanted to ensure that only products of the highest quality are provided to our consumers. 4. Coke and Erectile Dysfunction Coca-Cola was created by John Pemberton in 1886 in the hope that it would wean him off the morphine that he took as a result of injuries from the American Civil War. It was sold in Jacob's Pharmacy as a valuable brain tonic and <laughs> a most wonderful invigorator of sexual organs. Weird. It proved to be extremely popular and sold at five cents a glass. 
Since then, our knowledge of food science has increased, and it is now more likely that the sugar in Coca-Cola would be a cause of impotence in men. A study found that individuals who drank around one liter a day had lower sperm concentration and quality than those who A liter a day? Fuck that. Three, Coca-Cola and the FBI. In 2006, three people were arrested after attempting to sell Coca-Cola's secret ingredients to Pepsi <laughs> for $1.5 million. Pepsi weren't the reliable ally they'd hoped for, as they quickly reported the group to Coca-Cola and the FBI. Two of the three were employees of Coca-Cola and had illegally obtained the information for resale. The group were caught after an undercover FBI team posed as Pepsi executives to retrieve their information. Damn. Two, Nazi Fanta. A video celebrating Fanta's 75 year anniversary sparked controversy when it referred to the 1940s as the good old times. The ad was supposedly created to provoke childhood memories, but glossed over World War II and the fact that Fanta was created in Nazi Germany as a result of a trade embargo against what them. The, fuck? the ad received huge criticism online and as a result was pulled after just seven days. That's fucked One, up. Natasha Harris. New Zealander Natasha Harris died at the age of 30 following a cardiac arrest. Family members were open about the woman's unhealthy addiction to Coca-Cola, saying she suffered a number of illnesses years before her death. Harris's teeth had been previously removed due to decay, and one of her eight children was born without enamel on their teeth. Despite these clear warning signs, Harris was still consuming 10 litres of coke a day, 11 what times the, the recommended daily intake of sugar. The coroner for the case said Coca-Cola was not issues. held fully responsible. I don't know how you could drink that much fucking coke, or that hey, much fizzy drink in general. Shocking facts about Coca-Cola. Let us know what you thought in the comment. So yeah, I used to work for coke two years, maybe, yeah, nearly three years ago. No, two years ago. I used to do picking, used to pick orders. I fucking have the record at coke for most fucking cases picked and pallets picked in one shift. Out of everyone that's been there, I hold the fucking record there. I was a fucking hard worker at that place. And then they let me go. Are little bitches. I'm not gonna say why. I'm not gonna say what else happened after that. But what I'm saying is, Coke can kiss my ass. After watching that video, that kind of makes you not want to fucking drink Coke at all. I don't know if any of you guys drink Coke or fizzy drink on a regular basis, but I'm telling you, don't drink that shit. Shit's bad for you, G. Drink some fucking green tea. That's all I fucking drink green tea and water. And I add lemon to it and my water. So fucking good, G. The only time I drink something that's remotely similar to fizzy drink is fucking beers, G. Although I don't drink all the time. I actually barely drink. Considering I used to be a fucking pisshead back in the day, you guys have no idea. Actually, I don't know, if you've been on my music channel, there's these videos called I'm On It. And that was from 2011 to 2013. And it pretty much documented my drinking days. It was highlights from 2011 to 2013 until I moved here in 2012. I'm debating on maybe remixing one, just so you can see what I used to be like. I wasn't always a sensible, handsome, no, I've always been handsome, well-spoken YouTube personality. Now I'm talking shit, but yeah, I might mix something. I've still got all the fucking videos. I don't fucking delete anything. Anything. Anyway, see you in the next video. Fucking Coke. Do you want to see a photo from me at Coke? I'll chuck it up right there. That pretty much explains my entire experience at Coke. Gotta let you know where I come from. from. I gotta hold down the city. city. Gotta let you know. Let you know. Let you know. I gotta hold down the city. city.